fellas, the Angels are here. I'm back for another LEGO Marvel minifigure collection video for you guys. And this time, I'm doing a different one for the lineup, and that is Valkyrie. So we have all three different versions of her that LEGO has ever made for the lineup. So we have the first one from 2017 based off of Ragnarok, the 2021 What If version from last year, and the 2022 Love and Thunder version from this year. So I'm going to show you guys each of the Valkyrie minifigures that LEGO has ever made from the different years and some of the different sets that she has been in. And this is going to be really awesome for the lineup. So without further ado, let's go ahead so and here's get the 2017 version based off of Marvel Studios Thor Ragnarok. This version appeared in the Ultimate Battle for Asgard set with Thor, Bruce Banner, and Hela right here. So... Anyways, this is a pretty awesome figure right here. Well, in the movie, we didn't see her outfit looking like this in that dark bluish color. It was in that silverish or darker grayish color right here, or dark gray color, I meant to say. But anyways, I like the torso printing right here, but it would have been cool if they added leg printing right here. But I love the cape right there in that bluish look. I like it in this design right here. So I love the face printing for her right here, which is pretty nice looking. And I love that hair piece right here. That hair piece looks so great in my opinion. And it's so amazing. Holy crap right there. But anyways, yeah, it is pretty cool. Key. I still wish they could give her some leg printing right here. And some hip printing would be really nice looking. But I still love the cape torso and face printing. And the hair piece looks really good right there. I just love that piece right there. That was new since it five years ago. But anyways, it was pretty amazing to me in my opinion. And turning around to the back of her, this is what the back of the hair piece looks like and the back of the cape right here, so you can see. And also, let's twist that around so I want to show you guys what her back torso printing looks like. So this is what her back torso printing looks like when you flipped up the cape and moved the hair piece right here. But yeah, that is so amazing right here. This is a pretty cool looking Valkyrie minifigure, but we didn't see this look of her in the Ragnarok movie in that bluish color right here, but it was in that silverish color right here, but it is still pretty cool looking. So that is it for the 2017 version. Now let's move on to the 2020. So here's version. the last year version of her based off of Marvel Studios What If and that more accurate Ragnarok suit. Yeah, the Ragnarok suit right here. But anyway, she appeared in two sets from two different years. She appeared in the last year's Sakarian Iron Man set and this year, she appeared in that accessory pack from the Infinity Saga lineup. So anyways, I like the torso and face printing for her. I wish they could add some leg printing to make it more accurate right here. Or maybe this is how the way she looks. But still, I wish they could add leg printing to her. But anyways, she does have the same hair piece and the cape right there in that bluish color right there. And she looks amazing. I totally like that smirk or smile expression for her face print that looks amazing to me in my opinion i just love how that turns out and i totally like the torso printing with that nice detailing right there with some gunmetal gray some of the straps the dark blue one and some black right there so you can see which is pretty amazing in my opinion it's so freaking dope looking in my opinion so i totally like how that turns out right here but anyways it is pretty cool he still wish they could add light printing to that look but it is pretty cool key to me in my opinion it's turning around to the back of her. This is what the back of the cape and hair piece looks like. It's definitely 100% the same. But when you flip it up, I want to show you guys what her back torso printing looks like. So this is what her back torso printing looks like. As you can see, I totally like the nice detailing to her. But it is so freaking amazing right here. So I totally like this version of Val right here. So that is pretty cool. Okay, I'm glad Lego made this look of her for the different sets right here, but she looks pretty cool looking for the lineup. So that is it for the last year version. Now let's get into the 2020. And finally, here's the third version from this year. This is the one from Marvel Studios, Thor Love and Thunder. This one appeared in the Gobo set back in spring. And this one has to be my most favorite version of Valkyrie. I love this version of her so much because I really like how the minifigure turns out. All that is pretty cool looking. So they call her King Valkyrie because she's the king of New Asgard. So anyways, I like that face printing with that smiley expression. I love the torso, hip, toes, and leg printing right there. And we have a soft blue cape right there. That looks pretty cool looking. That is one hold right there. And I love this hair piece right here. I feel like that is a brand new hair piece for this year for 2022. So I am a fan of that. So that is pretty nice looking. I really like this version of Valkyrie right here. So I love 
the hair piece, the face pretty with that Tessa Thompson likeness right here with that smiley expression. And they nailed the torso pretty, which is pretty cool. Okay, I like the silver parts right there where you shine it to your light right there. So you can see that is pretty cool. I like the torso, hip, and leg pretty. That looks so amazing in my opinion. So I totally like how this version of Val looks like from that Go Boat set for this year. And it looks pretty amazing to me in my opinion. And this is what the back of her looks like with that nice hair piece and the blue cape right there. And she does have a second face right here. So let's take that off right here. So this is like that smirk or serious expression right there. And when you flip the cape up, this is what her back torso printing looks like. So I'm just going to hold the cape because it is one hold instead of two hold right there. So this is what her back torso printing looks like. It is so pretty cool looking right here for the lineup. So this is my most favorite version of Valkyrie right here, but this is so pretty cool and cute for the lineup. So that is it for those mini figures. Now let's go ahead and wrap so this up. So there you guys up. have it. These are all of the three LEGO Marvel Valkyrie mini figures that we have so far for the lineup. And I gotta say, they are pretty cool looking mini figures. Well, honestly, I still love the Love and Thunder version from this year because how the way it turns out, but these other two are still pretty cool looking. So I still like the detailing for them right here which is the Ragnarok and the what if version but still they are pretty nice and cool looking so yeah these mini figures are pretty cool looking so I totally like their hair pieces their face prints well they could just add a little detailing for the leg printing for the last year and the five-year-old versions of her and they are pretty cool looking so I totally like all these mini figures well it would be cool if Lego made a comic book version since these three right here are based off of the MCU, which is pretty cool looking. And it will be nice if we get a comic book version of her. And I still like the MCU versions of Valkyrie, especially the Love and Thunder version from this year from the Go Boat set. But anyways, this is a pretty nice looking collection right here. But it is so freaking awesome right here for the lineup. So nothing much to say, but that's all I've gone so far for the lineup. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell to see button. And don't forget to Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this collection for the lineup. I'll see you later. I will be back.